Tonight, we are getting an inside look at some of the boats that were heavily damaged by Tropical Storm Ada. Good evening, I'm Isabel Rosales. The city of Gulfport and the boat owners are working to move those wrecked boats off the shore. As ABC Action News reporter McKenna King shows us, some of these boats were also people's homes. This is one example. This boat here was a Gulfport woman's home, and this weekend she turned her title over to the city, realizing the cost to repair the boat outweigh its worth. She has a soul, like she was my girl. She's now she's gone. Mo Taggart has called the SV Laurel in home for two years. Living on a boat seems like the way, you know, it's like being out on the mooring ball. It's so much cheaper. Boats aren't cheap, but you know, it just it's fulfilling. She's a college student and always looking for the next adventure. But a tropical storm was not what she had in mind. Fearing for her own safety, she moored her boat and got off the water, hoping the SV Laurel Lynn could survive the wind and the waves. All of the sailors out here have a group chat on Facebook, and I was told that the boat was loose. But there was nothing they could do. She was just crashing against the seawall. Her boat, one of seven, dotting the shoreline off Boca Ciega Bay. The damage far more than the boat is worth, so this weekend, Mo made the difficult decision to hand her title over to the city. I give the title to my boat. That's my whole house, and I don't have to pay for the repercussions of the damage that I did, but now I just signed away everything I have. Nick Kalitri, another boat owner who calls the Gulf home, decided to ride out the storm. I've never sailed a sailboat until in the last five months, but uh, when the storm hit, I was out here. Lucky for him and his parrot Yoshi, his boat stayed afloat. Regardless of the outcome, both Nick and Mo happy with the decisions they made that night. If it was a stronger one, I would have figured out a way to get to shore, for sure, 100%. I think I made the right decision. It all come together. And like any true sailor, I'm getting a new boat. The city of Gulfport follows FWC guidelines for abandoned property, giving boat owners five days to remove their boat or hand over their title. Come Monday, the city will be out with cranes to remove some of the boats. Reporting in Gulfport, McKenna King, ABC Action News.